Ever been locked out of your work portal, got hit with 47 CAPTCHAs just trying to check your email, or had Netflix think you're logging in from the moon? Yeah, that can happen sometimes. It's one of the unfortunate risks of using a standard rotating IP on a VPN. A static IP is simple. It's an IP address that doesn't change. It's consistent. Every time you connect, you show up with the same digital face, kind of like always wearing the same hoodie online, cozy, predictable, and surprisingly powerful. How do shared static IP addresses compare to shared rotating ones? Let's break it down. For a shared rotating IP, your privacy is high. You're part of the crowd. Shared static IP, it's high as well. As far as access control goes, for shared rotating IP, it's randomly assigned. Whereas a static IP, it's whitelist ready. Some shared rotating IPs brings you to CAPTCHA Town, as opposed to a shared static IP where they're way fewer. Use cases. So who needs a static IP? Sysadmins for SSH, RDP, or staging environments remote workers to whitelist your IP address with your boss's crusty firewall, frequent travelers so your login location doesn't bounce like a maniac as you go from place to place, or self-hosters running services that hate random IPs. Privacy warning, not all static IPs are created equal. You may have seen some VPN providers offering dedicated static IPs, Buyers beware. Here's the problem with dedicated static IPs. They're basically a big neon sign that says, this is me. Once that IP is linked to you and only you, every site, every service, and every snoop can tie your activity back to the same digital address. That's not privacy. That's painting a target on your back. Other VPNs love to sell these as premium, but in reality, they defeat the whole point of a VPN. You wouldn't buy a fake ID with your real name printed on it, so why pay extra to be easier to track? Winscribe doesn't do dedicated static IPs for this exact reason. Our static IPs are always shared. You still get consistency when you need it, but you're hidden in a crowd instead of standing alone. Winscribe offers static IPs that go beyond the basics, data centers and residential IPs. For a data center, cheap and fast. It lives in a data center. It's great for most uses. Remote access, port forwarding, hosting stuff, gaming, whatever. Some sites and services might flag these as VPN proxy IPs though, as they're common for VPNs. Residential IPs, little pricier, sometimes a bit slower, depending on where you're located. Looks like an IP from Average Joe's house. Great for dodging services that block or throttle data center IPs. Think aggressive streaming sites or paranoid banking apps. Bonus, you'll look even more like a normal human. Downside, absolutely no P2P torrenting allowed. If you do need a static IP, you can grab one directly from your Winscribe account, but you've gotta have unlimited data on your account first. We've got locations worldwide, and once you pick one, it's yours whenever you connect. On top of that, you can enable port forwarding, which lets you host services, run game servers, or access devices back home from anywhere. In nerd terms, this ain't just a fixed IP. It's a network weapon. Use a static IP if you need to access services from the same IP each time you're online, you are self-hosted or need to set up port forwarding for remote access, you hate CAPTCHAs more than life itself. Don't use one if... You're evading state surveillance, you want to blend into the noise, you're just casually browsing or streaming. Rule of thumb, use a static IP only if you need consistency, remote access, banking logins, hosting stuff. Otherwise, stick with rotating IPs for stronger anonymity. Bottom line, static IPs are like digital home addresses. They make you more predictable, in a good way. If you need stability, access, and trusted connections, they're worth every bite. Get a static IP with Winscribe, use it for work or world domination. Just don't ignore it. It's the most powerful VPN feature you've never used.